So what is the significance again? The galactic precession, whether involving stars or planets, is the natural time clock of the galaxy. It was clicking, click, 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 toward this magical moment. This extraordinary timing device is showing us that a divine moment has arrived that is to move us into the light. So all the various aspects of all the different calendars of the world that deal with consciousness and experiential aspects of time are now clicking, clicking, clicking together at that magical moment when we cross the equatorial plane of our galaxy. The Mayan among many, and the oldest, of course, are the Olmec, which are over 6,000 years old, were instructed by galactic timekeepers that this special time was to arrive in December of 2012. The time of the coming of the sixth red sun of this solstice, which comes out in Gregorian to December 2012. That's the significance of all of this. It is saying to you loud and clear that a new age of light has come and that this light will lead us to full consciousness, to purity. And all the evil in this world will go because it cannot exist. It will be destroyed by its own energies because these energies are now collapsing. So, the great year which I said is equivalent to one revolution around the precessional axis, or 25,625 years. This, as I said, was divided into five sections of 5,125 years, and this section then was divided into 13 Bach Tun cycles of approximately 394, and if you multiply 13 by 394, you'll come up with roughly 5,125 years. This great year completes the cycle that returns us to the light. This completion is called the rise of the sixth sun. And its harbinger was the solar eclipse over Mexico of July 12, 1991. So what is happening is the galactic core is now emanating this new energy due to a transformation of space-time energies by the Time Lords. Consciousness is inevitable. Full consciousness is likewise inevitable. The mentors have come through the signs, the harbingers of the movement of our galaxy. They have come to change us into being fully conscious beings. All the angelics are here. Even the seraphim from Aeon, the very center of creation, where resides the creator and all the aspects of the Creator. So this transformation of consciousness is founded upon the use in our reality, as I said, of the numbers 13, 20, and 52. 13 is the natural cycle pulse of our galaxy. It is the most sacred number in our entire number system. There is no number more sacred than 13. Remember this number. It is a key to everything. What did all the religions coming to prevent us from getting the truth say? They made this into an evil number. It is not an evil number. It's just the opposite. Remember that. What, even if you look at the Bible, what is the sacred number of the 12 followers of the Christ plus himself equals 13, 12 plus 1. Remember that. Get rid of all the beliefs you have about evilness in this world. Understand beneath all of it is turning it upside down and backwards. The Anunnaki were experts at turning everything upside down and backwards. We are actually approaching 13. And when we get to the time click of the minds, you'll see it's 13. So as we said, the old reality grids are collapsing. When psychics hired by, by government, and especially secret government agencies, went to look around and look at the future and see how they could alter all of this, guess what happens when they came to this date? They hit a wall. 
that they could not get over. Because this is a sacred time. Time is collapsing because it is time, as Gaia knows, to create a new reality, to unify the 5D energies of inner Earth and recreate the 5D energies of the outer world that we now reside on. So what is happening here? Everything is moving toward 13. The Schumann cycle shows that we used to be around 8, 7.8, and then guess what happened about nearly 20 years ago? It started going up. And then less than 10 years ago, it, it just bottomed out at 12.9, and now it's doing 12.999999, almost like pi. It keeps repeating itself. Because it is waiting for the magical point when things begin to click. We are now at the time of the veil lifting, when the universe can in earnest say, evil, darkness, which has put things upside down and backwards, told us lies, manipulated us, is done. And the light has come, and it will now be doing three things. It will be accelerating time up to the zero point. It will continue the changing of us as we prepare to be fully conscious and the third thing that it's going to do is introduce us to our space and our spiritual families. 